Hello my fellow hunters, in this video I want to talk about Switch X skill priority and the reason why I'm making this video I found a ton of misinformation on the internet and also on reddit posts where they talking about the most important yes, uh, Switch X skill and I heard a lot of users saying yes you have to use critical eye and I also saw a lot of speedrunners using critical boosts on the switch X and in this video I want to prove you um, how important the different switch X skills are first of all this is just a very short video I've also analyzed more than 200 switch X runs by myself to calculate the correct amped up time but I talk in a several video about that so just want to say in this video you can see maybe uh, for instance here that um, if you have elemental file it doesn't care honestly if you're using power prolonger 1 or level 2 but in this video I just want to talk about maxed out skills so um, the first thing I have done I've um, made some research what is the average yes well used for a uh, meta switch X and first of all I just want to show you a web page random web page that is full of misinformation so the first thing is here um, power prolonger is totally underrated because um, if you have a power file you have to use um, power prolonger for instance you can see it here um, if you have a power file with uh, power prolonger level 0 you have 65% uh, m uptime and it, uh, the amp uptime got increased by 10% only using one level of power prolonger uh, yes, yeah, so power prolonger is one of the powerful skills for the switch X and they only give it two stars so it's at bottom of the list and they put it focus on the same stage as power prolonger which is completely garbage and I think they doesn't have any clue about switch X because every knows in my separate video that focus is completely garbage for switch X it doesn't do anything maybe it increase your your charge um, percentage by maybe 2% or 3% or what else. Also critical boost is totally overrated I think in general uh, for Monster Hunter Rise and um, also the X mode is, has an end state and yes critical boost in this state I personally only give critical boost one star or maybe two stars but three stars critical boost in general the critical skills for the switch X are totally overrated. Uh, yes, weakness exploit, maybe depending on a monster you're fighting, you've also maybe seen a lot of uh, sw uh, switch X speedruns, maybe some Xenogris switch X speedruns, the one Xenogris uh, switch X speedrun where I kill Xenogris in 2 minutes 40 seconds without weakness exploit, so it depends on the monster or if you, even if you fight against Ragnar Gadaki, Diablos, there are a lot of monsters that's worth fighting uh, against without using weakness exploit. Yes, a weight extender. Also, I didn't really um, recommend using a weight extender maybe on the previous Monster Hunter titles, uh, but because you have the wire fall and other stuff, yes, the only correct thing in this table is the rapid morph. And yes, now I want to show you the true. I first I want to show you how I calculated the, the, the switch X pr skill priority. And um, maybe I, I've previously um, talked about yes the amp up time, and I also previously talked about the switch X calculator. You know. Uh, in this web page here, maybe you know the switch X calculator I have talked about in several several videos previously, how that calculator works and so on. I also put a link in the video description to maybe calculate yourself. And yes, I figured out a little bit stuff. I'm gonna make that bigger now. Uh, sorry. Okay. What's happening now? Okay, um, I think I should remove that. Okay, one second. Okay, so in general, a common meta switch X has about 190 raw and 30 element. This and in the most cases, blue sharpness and in the most cases, you only need one level of handicraft. For instance, for the for the Narva switch X, for the um, let's give me a second for the Rampage switch X, there are a lot of switch Xs. You only need one level of handicraft, three levels of protective polish. Um, yes, and for the hit zones, I choose the average of a 
uh, raw hit zone value for 60, 45, and 30. So the 30 is, is for example, if you can't trigger the weakness exploit, and the 20 is the elemental hit zone value. So you can see it's extremely easily. Um, I've made two several tables uh, for elemental switch X and yes, for the, uh, sorry for elemental file and for power file. Um, I forgot to make the average. So I'm gonna do this now. Forget it <laughs> for making the video. Okay. And let's sort it. Okay, it's just still the same. So it doesn't care whether you use elemental or power switch X. You can see still, if you didn't have equipped any skills, you can see the elemental switch X is slightly more stronger because of the better amped uptime. And I may be gonna make a separate video of the amped uptime. Um, so you can see, I talk first about the most important skill. So you can see rapid morph. Um, all this data is based if you didn't have equipped any skills. So no Peta Lace, no Power Talon, no Power Charm, no Eat Buffs, no, if you were completely naked, okay? So, um, so the most important skill is Rapid Morph, you can see. It increases your Cycle DPS, not your General DPS, no, e no EFR all things about the cycle DPS because for me personally I didn't care about EFR and other skills because um, switch X is extremely complicated for calculating stuff and yes so you can see um, it increases your DPS by 24 or 25 percent and in average it's 25 it's gonna uh, make it a little bit colorful uh, do -do -do -do. sorry that was wrong I think I'm gonna use this one and choosing some colors. I think the, the this is the correct one. Yes. Okay. Um, so you can see by far the best skill. So if you have a switch axe, the first thing you do is to completely max out rapid morph. Rapid morph have to be always completely maxed out, but because it heavily increases your DPS. The next skill is also one of my favorite skill I'm using in every switch X speed run it is handicraft and protective polish so all in all for the skill levels I used for the most time three or four levels of the skill so it's very well balanced so maybe elemental attack is easier to start in so I calculated for the average of four or five levels and yes critical boost is more hard to start in so I use um, only three levels so you can see the second most important skill I'm also using in every switch X speed run the um, handicraft to get the white sharpness and use of protective polish. So that skill in combination, so that skill is only calculated for white sharpness and protective polish. So it gives you a DPS increase of 10% and that's extremely strong. So you can see here these three are the most powerful skills because but you have to decide between bludgeoner and handicraft. So you can see the sharpness skills are the second most powerful for the switch X. Not the crit skills, not the elemental skills, the sharpness. Also, you can see here, Bludgeoner is like a handicraft with productive polish. If you use green sharpness, also increase your damage output. Depending on the switch X, you can see if you have an elemental file, only 7%, and if you have a power file, it's 11%. So Bludgeoner works on the power file very much better but all the other things are very well balanced. Um, also the next thing is elemental attack. Elemental attack is also more important than any crit skills. You can see, for example, if you have elemental file, it can increase your DPS by 7%. And if a monster has bad hand zone values, elemental attack is also stronger than weakness exploit. So you can see weakness exploit and attack boost is in the middle, uh, but I also recommend using it on every set. Also, attack boost 4 is one of the most important skills you're using. It can, you can see here, increase your DBS by 6%. It works better if you have a power file, but I heavily recommend using attack boost on every switch X. Weakness exploit, depending on a monster, whether it's worth uh, to trigger a weakness exploit or not. Yes, yeah, so the next skill is power plonger. We previously talked about that. Um, for power plonger, you didn't have to max out the skill. For the most case, one or level, two levels is enough. But you can see, still pretty good, and I also recommend using at least one or 
two levels or especially the Yuda Totus chest for switch X user. So you can see all these skill or must have. So I'm gonna write it in here. Must have. And and you didn't really need that skill. Skills. Um So you can see critical boost um I have to compensate the damage output because yes uh, it confuses all the data so I've uh, used for the damage calculator a switch X with 180 raw and the crit rate between 27 and 29% to get exactly the same damage output and you can see critical boost level 3 if you have 30% affinity it only increases your DPS by about 3% and critical eye level 3 only uh, also nearly the same so critical eye and critical boost maybe are pretty much similar uh, I have to say that all that stuff is based on the on the rapid morph combo so if you may be using a uh, other combo for the switch X uh, set a spam also maybe it is a little bit different but to make a conclusion all in all the most important skill is rapid morph it has the pri highest priority of all skills then in the next priority is the the sharpness management, the second most important skill, the third most important skill is attack boost, prow prolonger, weakness exploit, elemental stuff, and um, yes, less priority have the critical boost and critical eye. The reason is with the switch X you do a lot of file damage, your X mode uh, and your sword mode both do the file damage and also you remember the file damage is a bit more affected in some cases and so I didn't I recommend first um, aiming your skills for the one I have recommended sharpness management, rabbit morph, other stuff and less priority for crit skills.